So as you can see, we started out pretty bare bones as a classroom that wasn't really being utilized that much. And we start to take down the desks and the computers out. Our first step is the green screen. We visited Taylorville High School and saw some of their tricks and tools for what they used to engage students, and we adapted them for our own. The colors start to go up on the wall, making it unique. And we needed some gadgets from the past, as well as some individual features like the green screen suit. Teachers try VR for the first time and they're equally as engaged as our students. Looking at the plasma cutter, we wanted to try to have clock with hands and numbers on the wall that were 3D printed. Notice, Oculus is for any age. And Mr. Schalter's class not only used the VR in group sessions, but they worked on Tinkercad, the iPads, and they also learn to transport themselves to Paris. How about the maintenance crew checking out the national forests and utilizing the whiteboard space for the very first time on our desks. When the 3D printers came along, the science department couldn't wait to print a cat vertebrae. More things followed, and repairing the junior high 3D printers was a task that led us to understand our own even more. We've made some pretty incredible things that students really enjoy, from plastic to wood PLA. When the clock hands went up, and caffeine coasters were made, filament was added, and the space was really starting to come together. Media students with Mrs. Watson designed things and printed them on Tinkercad. We are selling keychains as a fundraiser, and students are learning and then teaching others by example. Lane Perry's car is a new invention, and Lane Sykowski's moving parts has helped us all to learn that anyone can persevere through 189 pieces. I hope you enjoy the STEM Lab. Thank you.